All right. <clears throat> Roll into our afternoon media availability with Danica Patrick, driver of the number seven GoDaddy.com Chevrolet in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Um, Danica, you've worked your way back up into the 12th in the Nationwide standings, um, heading into Auto Club this weekend. Talk a little bit about um, kind of this, this race and, and kind of what your goals are. Win. No, I'm just <laughs> came out um no I think realistically just uh this is the track that I struggled on the first time I came and the next time I came back it was a lot better and um hopefully that trend keeps continuing but um you know a good top 10 would be a really good way to come away from from this race set and um or with uh so that's that's my goal I enjoy racing here and uh, I feel like I I learned the last time I came what it feels like what a what a what a good car feels like in practice that translates to a of course a good car in the race so we'll be working towards that this afternoon all right we'll kick it off with Lee Spencer and then Bill and then Bob at all and you know is there any kind of I don't know, I, I won't say regret because I know there's not, but I mean, is there any kind of inkling that, you know, you want to know what's going on back there and, you know? Definitely. Um, I've definitely been curious over the last couple of months how testing's gone and how everybody's running and, um, you know, how the how the manufacturers um, and new manufacturers are shaking things up and obviously the new car has added another element of challenge. So, um, so I've definitely been curious. Um, I think that uh, I think that the, the on-track activity is going to keep me pretty busy this weekend. But then again, uh, Sunday I'll be able to watch, and I'm sure I will be. As well, what's going to be tough because you got the Cup race, you got the IndyCar race, and you've got basketball, I guess. So my husband's got a into the basketball, and so anyway, um, there's going to be a lot of a lot of TVs running with a lot of channels. But luckily, we have a lot of TVs, so um, I'll be paying attention. And obviously, I uh, obviously I'll have a, a fellow Go Daddy car to cheer for. All right, we're going to Bill. Danica, yeah, Bill Kim, NASCAR.com. Um, Amanda brought up the 12th in the standings in the Nationwide Series, and understanding is kind of important as the Cup Series one, specifically the owner standings and the top 35 rule that goes into effect after this week. Do you, you're not going to race again in the Cup Series till Darlington. Do you focus on what David Rudiman's doing in the car? Do you, do you pay attention to where that 10 car is in the standings, and do you even worry about having to qualify maybe at Darlington if he, if he has another bad finish or two? Yeah, I, I think that, uh, I mean, I'm definitely definitely paying attention. I'm aware. Um, and, you know, it's as, I, as, as, as it is in Nationwide, starting off the year with a tough result, which I drove the 10 car and had a tough result to start the year in Daytona. So I, I definitely put them in the hole to start. Um, it just takes a while to climb out. And um, another solid finish this weekend will be, um, you know, we'll hopeful, hopefully put them on the right path. But um, either way, it, it's going to be fine. It's, um, you know, it's, it's all about learning. And if we have to qualify, we do. But I have faith that I'm sure that things will work out. And David's a good driver. And, and Tommy Baldwin has help from, from, um, from Stuart Haas. So I'm sure everything will work out. Uh, Bob Pachris from uh, Scene Daily. Do you, it's been a while since you've been here in a stock car because you didn't race here last year, correct? Right, so, right, I mean, right. how much, I guess, how much do you think you remember and the fact that it's a totally different car I'll than what you, you know were two in years about ago? about an hour. <laughs> um, but, you know, I do think that there's a little rust to knock off when it's been a couple of years, when it's been, when it's been uh, well, it's been two years, I guess, then since I, since I was here. Is that, is that right? Two years or a year? Year and a half? Wasn't it a fall race? You ran in the spring and the fall. Right. Yeah. Why is there not a fall race anymore? Is there only one now? Did that change in the yes. meet? Oh, gosh. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm like, I swore I did it twice in a year. Um, so a year and a half. But, you know, we went testing in Orlando earlier this year, and I hadn't been there for, again, kind of like a year and a half to two years. So, you know, all of a sudden, y you do have to re-familiarize re yourself a little bit. And so... I think in this situation, I'll, I feel like I've learned the cars to the point where I can get up to speed quicker than what I used to, and understanding the mechanics of the car has helped me to um, be more confident going out there in certain techniques that I can use as a driver to ensure that it's, uh, it's 
well, not insure, but hopefully not going to swap ends on me. So, um, so I've I've learned that over the over the last couple of years. Um, but there, I'm I'm also a little bit smarter to know that we shouldn't chase the car to start with. Um, and that you know what I should do is if is is if um, if we're not up to speed, work on me a little bit and uh, and then get on with it because we're going to be starting with a setup on the car that was you know that was good for me here before. Danica, you've had the opportunity. You, you and Jillian Michaels have a lot of commercials that are shown yeah. with GoDaddy, but you she's been here with you at the track, I believe today. Yep. Um, and then will be tomorrow. Talk a little bit about what it's like to bring her to kind of your neck of the woods, so to speak. Well, I, I, I mean, for anybody that knows Jillian, she's a pretty strong girl. I don't think I necessarily get her, bring her, make her do anything. She, uh, she's got, she's got plenty of motivation and, um, she's a, she's a new reporter for Insider. So we were, we were doing a, a piece today. Um, and so it's, I think she changed a tire as well. So she's, she's getting out there and, and doing, and doing her good work, uh, working towards her goals personally. And, um, and the fact that I can kind of tag along with some of the stuff that she has going on with our relationship as uh, being fellow GoDaddy girls, it's, it makes for fun and an interesting piece. Perfect. Any additional questions for Danica? Okay. We'll go to Greg here. And should I say, should that, should I say that she's going to, I mean, everybody know, tomorrow mm -hmm. that she's going to be the starter? I believe that just happened, by the way. It was one of those things that we need a starter for tomorrow. And, um, and uh, <laughs> so... so it's happening. Perfect. But I think that only happened about a, a half an hour ago. <laughs> news right off the presses. Yeah, breaking news. Okay. Breaking yeah. news. Look breaking at that. News. I'm so excited. <laughs> I should have tweeted it. That's how I should have done it. Dang it. <laughs> Go ahead, Greg. <laughs> uh, Greg Patton from the Press Enterprise in Riverside. Uh, Danica, could you talk a little bit about your comfort level from the times you first got into, uh, uh, you know, into NASCAR? And how are you measuring your progress at this point? What was the first part of your question? Your, your comfort level. My comfort level. Well, it goes up. I mean, <laughs> the first time I came here, I was, I felt like I was at a half mile, and you know, I didn't have time to look down at the gauges, and you know, it's obviously not a half mile. So, um, but that's how it feels when things are new to you and things are overwhelming, and you're just trying to digest so much at once. So, um, definitely, uh, definitely, the comfort level just goes up over time as you don't have to worry about those little things as much. Um, and uh, the second part. It was something about my my gauging my six, my my progress. progress. Well, that's pretty 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 easy with just results. I mean, that's kind of how the general gauge goes. And over time, from the beginning when I started, when I was, you know, thirtieth, <laughs> now I'm go <laughs> my goals are now top ten. So um, definitely things have progressed in the right way. And and throughout throughout the year, there's going to be days where. You know your work and your progress and your and the good things that you've done on the track don't necessarily materialize to great results that day for various reasons and I've definitely had those days too. So, um, so I I I myself definitely look to the um, the little victories along the way to stay confident, stay upbeat, and uh, make sure that I'm doing things better um, all the time. Perfect. Okay, Lee. Can you kind of address your spotter situation? Because Rick Corelli was on the radio at, at Bristol. Mm -hmm. um, Mark's usually been doing your, your cup stuff. was just wondering, was he busy? I know TJ obviously had, had Dale to contend with. Yeah. But, you know, how did Corelli get in the mix? Um, I, th I think for me, uh, every, every, every driver has certain, certain things that they like to hear on the radio and certain people that they, got, they get along with. And just uh, just um, click better with and uh, for me I just felt like I felt like I wanted to, to explore some options and obviously looking towards the future of trying to find some find a find a perfect fit um, uh, it's it's definitely not a time to compromise right now I feel like I need to explore and that's what I was doing is just exploring other options of, of spotters to see if things clicked a little bit quicker and better and easier and I, uh, I really enjoyed the day with Rick. I thought he did a great job of communicating certain driver techniques that I could use that 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 worked. I mean, I would he'd say it and I did it and it worked. And and um, 
that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. I need somebody that's, I need somebody that's going to help me. D honestly, I need someone that's going to help me drive the car. I need someone that knows how the car uh, needs to be driven and certain tricks that work and certain techniques. And um, and and that's what I'm looking for. I I, un I unfortunately I wish I was at a point where I could just have somebody being able to tell me what was around me. But I need I need something beyond that. And I think for me, having someone that has um, past driving experience, it really helps. <laughs> yeah. Everything from, you know, I mean, there's just, and again, everyone's different. Some drivers, and that, which is why, you know, certain spotters, the, every spotter does a great job up there. Every one of them is good. They, they do amazing things. When I went up top at Daytona to watch and see what they get to see, Oh my gosh, I can't imagine how they could be relaxed for a moment because you can you, you got to use binoculars and if you all ever use binoculars you, see, you you can't even flinch a little bit or you'll lose them and it takes forever to find them again. So, you know, they have a huge job up there, but um, and and some drivers like to hear next to nothing and say things like shut up and let me drive the car and then there are people like me who I want as much information as you possibly have and what I don't like I just don't use and 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 but I'll try anything and that's that's something that I need so I uh, I really enjoyed it I thought that we we even got a little laugh in there in the in the race a couple of times under yellow about certain things so um, and he was very upbeat with me and that's that's important too because some days with me still are not so great so I need somebody that's gonna also uh, be really positive and upbeat and um, you know we all like to hear a good job every now and again so it was nice to, he definitely was um, he definitely did a great job for me all right we'll go to Bob I'm Bob Packer, St. Davis. Well, then I just wanted to check. Is TJ going to be up there for you this weekend, yeah. or is Rick? Uh, it'll be TJ. Um, TJ, uh, he, um, he, he's done a really good job for me as well. I mean, I have to say that they, you know, I was very pleased with what Rick did, but um, just the, just the um, you know, relationship that we've developed over the last two years from a driver-spotter relationship of trust knowing how I knowing how I handle things out there knowing what my driving style is like I'm uh, I'm, I'm gonna use TJ as long as I can and take as much information as I can because he was the one that taught me how much I needed someone to point out certain things and remind me to be patient out there remind me to use a different line look at other look at what other drivers are doing um, and so that's he's the one that showed me the things that I need to, to look for and you know he's he's obviously Dale Jr. spotter so as things progress over time and 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 hopefully move forward in the future that's not going to be an option for me so um, that's why it's important now to uh, to get out there and, and figure out who I click best with. Any additional questions for Danica? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Fun in practice. <laughs>